afternoon. Fellow Democrats, committee members, it's an honor to be here with all of you today. My name is Gabriel Shippey. I serve as the Vice Chair of Community Engagement with the athens Clark County Democrats, and I am very humbled by the opportunity to introduce and nominate a young leader in our party who serves dual roles as a local level community builder as well as a statewide leader whose influence and hard work has already made an impact in every region of our state. In actuality, Councilman Khalid has already been voluntarily performing the duties of candidate recruitment. In addition to winning his own election to serve as a councilman for the city of South Fulton, Khalid has spent the last two years traveling throughout Georgia, helping elect Democrats in various counties while cultivating new young leaders in the process. In 2017, Khalid coordinated volunteers in the successful election of Kirkland Cardin to the Duluth City Council. In 2018, Khalid played an instrumental role in the elections of Democrats Mariah Parker to the athens Clark County Board of Commissioners, as well as State Representative El Mahdi Holly in Henry County, and State Senator Sheikh Rahman in Gwinnett County. Since then, he has returned to those areas several times after the elections, following up, consulting, and laying the groundwork to recruit more potential candidates for future elections, demonstrating that he is invested in long-term coalition building. Leaders like Khalid are exactly what our party needs, and also what the country needs. Councilman Khalid's progressive, optimistic agenda serves as a ray of light in the political climate clouded in darkness right now. His inclusive, grassroots approach to politics and his advocacy on behalf of marginalized communities is a much-needed demonstration of unity in the current era of divisiveness that has consumed our political discourse. And most importantly, for this particular position, Khalid has proven to be an effective, influential leader who has already inspired many others around our state to take a bold step. That step is transitioning from being activists in the streets to becoming candidates on the ballot. Yeah. Fellow Democrats, it is my honor to nominate City of South Fulton Councilman Khalid to serve as the next Democratic Party of Georgia Vice Chair of Candidate Recruitment. Woo! My name is Sheikh Roman. I'm a state committee member for a while. I'm a DNC member. Thanks to Councilman Khalil, I'm the first immigrant ever elected to the Georgia State Senate. Nobody believed in that I can win. I went with the number of Khalil. We looked at it. We want to reach out to certain folks. They are not in the system. They're outside. They do not vote. When he looked at it, and he said, we can do it. He went out, recruited a team, and got him elected. He had to spend some money. But you know what? He raised some money for me, too. And he brought all these outside groups. No, normally, they don't go vote. And he got those folks to come out and vote for me. So that's what we need in 2020. People like me, black, brown, white, Latinos, Hispanic, whatever you mention, we need to get all of them. So this is what we need in order to bridge the gap, finish the 2020, what we couldn't do it in 2018, we need to cross the finish line. That's why you need people like Khalid to go out and make it happen. Thank you. <laughs> for Vice Chair of Candidate Recruitment. I first learned that, that chant when I was an activist with the Occupy Movement. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. I used that chant again in 2015 when I helped organize the Atlanta chapter Black Lives Matter. Yeah. 
In 2016, I was a field organizer for the Georgia House Democratic Caucus. Leader Abram sent me to Middle Georgia to organize there. In 2017, I became the youngest person elected to my city council, and I was so excited, I went out and found other young people to get elected. I got Kirkland Cardin, I helped him get elected, and Duluth, he became the first African American elected, the first person of color elected in Duluth's 200 year history. Wow. Yes. I helped Mariah Parker, who came to an Our Revolution training, become the youngest ever uh, commissioner in the Athens Clark, Athens Clark County Commission. And last year, I helped run two races. In, uh, the State House race in House District 111 in Henry County, we flipped that seat. Leader Abrams had been trying to flip that seat. We finally got the job done with uh, Mr. Holly, who actually had to run four races that year. That's something that we need to work on because there are fake Democrats running. We need to do something with our uh, bylaws. Yeah. And of course, you heard from uh, Mr. Sheikh Rahman. So I am the only person running for this seat that has actually managed winning campaigns. Plural. I've been a community organizer, a democratic field organizer, and an elected official. I'm the only person running that's been an elected official. Candidate recruitment isn't just about finding somebody to put their name on the ballot. It's about making sure that they can run a winning campaign and then supporting them to make sure that they can be reelected. So I have a two point strategy, not 10 points or five points or even three points, just two. We're going to train candidates to run winning races and we're going to build a budget for them. We have to budget for success. How many of you, thank you, how many of you, either as candidates or out in the, out in the counties in Georgia, have seen the party beg someone to run for office? Talk about it. And then you never hear from them again. No field support, no money for your mailers. Maybe if, you look, if it looks like you're going to win, the last week they'll come in and take over your campaign and tell you how to run it. We need to do something, we need to do something different. And it starts with investing in local races. We need to get involved with the Democratic municipal, uh, municipal officials. We need to be running city council races, county commission races, school board races, because that is how you build a base and a bench of voters. You don't have to bring someone from Atlanta or D.C. to run your field if the people that have been rocking with that candidate since they were a school board member or a city council commissioner, if those people know how to run fields, you don't have to bring anybody in from the outside. When you run winning races, it's easier to, it's easier to fundraise, it's easier to get volunteers. I'm here to tell you, people want to give money to people that have won. And if the person that is calling can say, I've won these races and this is who I'm interested in, you get so much more attention and support for that person. Someone asked me when I was running, how many county party chairs do you know? And I was like, I'm an outsider. I don't really know that thing. I'm getting to learn them. My question is, how many people outside this room in Georgia's 159 counties know their county chairs? or even know that they have a Democratic Party working in that area. So I am here to help bring new energy and new people into this party. I'm going to close with this. I was asked to run for this office by people in this room, right? Even if you don't vote for me, you should find someone in this room who is voting for me and ask them why they asked me to come and be in this room. Take them out to dinner after this. Have those awkward, difficult conversations tonight. We don't need to set our differences aside. We need to set them on the table and examine them. Yeah. That's how we make this Democratic Party stronger. And as corny as it sounds, we are stronger together. So my name is Khalid. Please vote for me for candidate recruitment. The revolution continues. Woo!